Hi, I'm Aaron Vaness with C3 Controls. In this video, we'll talk about wire and cable management in an industrial control panel. So let's get started. Industrial control panels consist of control circuits, power circuits, or a combination of both. These circuits generate signals that control performance of equipment or machinery connected to them. Wires and cables are integral to these circuits and play a significant role in their functioning. Trends such as maximum efficiency, minimal downtimes, quick turnaround times, and time to market capabilities are critical to industrial users. These demands are fulfilled using various technology components that are interconnected by a vast network of wires and cables. This increased use of wires and cables stresses upon the utilization of efficient wire and cable management system. Because these wires and cables may clutter the workspace, cause accidents, and inflict several potential issues if they are not managed properly. Effective wire management offers several benefits, such as improving availability, performance of systems, safety, and troubleshooting. Best practices are important to achieve a neat and organized workplace, such as be sure to understand the different types of signal classes. Physically separate the cables on the basis of signal class. Separate classes 1 and 2 from sensitive classes 3 and 4. Ensure that the cable only carries the signals in one group. Overshield the sensitive and disturbing cables to protect them from high frequencies. Use separate connectors for different groups. Bond the free conductors at the end. Label every cable according to their signal class. Avoid using cheap quality cables because they may fail and lead to signal loss. Use quality terminations to crimp cables, otherwise they may require regular maintenance. Always use the highest quality metal trunking because it helps improve electromagnetic compatibility or EMC. Color code the cables properly to avoid confusion. And finally, label the cables using wraparound labels, cable flags, or cable tags. Along with the above mentioned practices, it is important to use the right kind of cables and wire management. There are several choices when it comes to cable and wire management. Among them, wire duct and terminal blocks are the most common. C3 Controls offers both. So what are the different types of signal classes? Class 1, which covers main power lines as well as power regulation control devices, switch mode converters, and power circuits with a high change in current over a high change in time. Class 1 signals are not highly sensitive and may interfere with classes 2, 3, and 4. Class 2 covers relay contacts and may interfere with classes 1, 3, and 4. Class 2 signals are not highly sensitive. Class 3 covers digital circuits and may be affected by pulses and surges. It may also interfere with class 4 signals. And finally, class 4. This class is for analog input and output circuits. It is highly sensitive to pulses and surges. Wire duct supports concealing and routing the wires inside electrical enclosures such as control panels. They are generally available in slotted and solid wall designs. The installation and use of wiring duct is governed by various standards, which ensures the proper and safe installation of low voltage wiring. Terminal blocks are insulated modular connectors that are designed to connect different circuits together. These components are also referred to as terminal connectors or connection terminals. For more on the basic terminal block, such as the different types and what to consider when selecting the right terminal block, be sure to check out our other videos in this series. Well, that's it for this video. We here at C3 Controls hope the information provided was helpful. To download the companion white paper and find other white papers, go to c3controls.com blog. Thank you for watching and have a great day from C3 Controls.